That's good. Okay. We didn't need to record all the previous. Oh, you know, we didn't need all that. <laughs> okay. So we are recording now. Um, I'm going to officially start the meeting and hopefully others will join us soon. Um, and our first agenda item is to uh, review minutes. So I'm going to open the minutes of the 22nd of July. And share my screen. Hold on. Okay, and you can all see those minutes, yes? Yes. Okay, thank you. Does anyone, uh, Tom or Chris, or even Adele, <coughs> if you do, you can always suggest it and we'll just vote on it, but does anyone have any um, revisions to the agenda? I mean, I'm sorry, to the minutes of July 22nd? I do not, I reviewed them, thought they were excellent, appreciate the uh, support. Yeah, Darcy takes really good minutes. Okay, so you're both, so I need one of you to make a motion. I will move that we accept the minutes of, what is this, which one is this? This is July 22nd. July 22nd, 2022. I will second it. Okay. Uh, in favor, Thompson? Yes. In favor, Mason? Yes. And I am also in favor. So those are approved. Okay, and then the minutes of August, August 4th. 4th. So just give me a minute to open those as well. I move hey, that we approve the minutes from August 4th, 2022. <laughs> I will second. I've also reviewed them and I will second it. All right now we can have discussion. So, <laughs> well, I wanted to make sure before we, I just wanted to make sure nobody had any revisions first. Well, that, that can come up during discussion. Oh, um, and then you didn't do it. You might have to modify your, but most okay. likely not going to. Okay. Discussion about the minutes of August 4th. I've reviewed him and I'm fine with it as is. We're good. Again, appreciate the support. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, I missed Darcy. Those were me. <laughs> okay. Then should we have a vote? Um, Chris, Mason, yes. Tom. Approve. And I also approve the minutes of August 4th. Okay, good. That's done. So, um, Andrew, thanks for joining us. Um, all right, I'm going to open the education and outreach plan. And this should be the most recent one with all three communities additions. So I will share my screen. And okay. there it goes. All right. So really the only thing I think that we need to go over are the um, outreach and contact lists that we've put together here. So um, I don't know if there's um, additional information that you all have since you edited these this document. But just for everybody else's benefit, um, I reached out to our director of communications who gave me some additional information on agencies and publications to insert. And I believe Chris reached out to the mayor's office and Tom reached out to the assistant to the select board. Um, so we can do what we identify here is what the minimum that we can do. We can always do more, but we can't do less. So I guess I want to make sure that we're all on board about these um, news agencies and organizations that we have listed that we're comfortable with this list um, as is. 
Can so, you page uh, page through some more? Yep. So this is uh, social media. And then television stations. Radio stations. Oh, television. Right here. Oh, I see. There's television stations. Yep. And then local radio stations. And freelance reporters is not something we typically had outreach yeah, they're to. On, but... they're, they're on Northampton's uh, uh, standard list, so I included them. They don't call them freelance reporters, but that's the only way I could define it. Okay, that works. Mm -hmm. And then web news agencies. So um, uh, why would we want to reach out for CCA purposes to the Massachusetts Municipal Association? Well, for one thing, they have information that uh, goes out to all of the communities. So if we want to bring other communities on board to join the CCA, that's a great way to get the word out. Well, yeah, but that's not what we would be doing um, initially. Initially, we're only targeting our three communities. So I, I think it would be premature to get a whole lot of other communities interested in joining us at that point. Yeah, I wasn't clear. I mean, this seemed to be like an inclusive outreach plan for the program. So I'm not sure if it's like just only the initial stage. Let's see. Well, Sorry, I'm going to scroll up our, here. Our contractor is only contracted for the initial stage. They're, they're not, you know, they're, 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 it's a three-year contract, right? Right. So I don't think we should be reaching out to other communities. That's my personal opinion. Um, okay, so does that mean that folks want to lose, well, then are there other organizations that we, yeah. like this NEPR? Seems, this seems like a an exhaustive list, which I think is great to have for ourselves, but not for this document. I would cut it way down. You can always do so more. The, I mean, the problem with cutting it way down is uh, right now these are standard lists that you know the city just dump they, they know how to do this boom get the word out <clears throat> if it uh, i mean if, if it hurts us to get the word out too broadly then i could see that but if it doesn't matter then it's just included then why not um and that you know for us to basically have to say you know who did we take out later on um, I'm assuming, you know, when I went to the mayor, that that that's that's their standard list. That's what they normally send out to. I still don't think we need to list them all, though. What if we miss one? And you know, yeah, you could you could take some out and still just send out the. You, you're right. You could because you could still do the standard list and yeah. just done more. Yeah, I yeah. just think this is overkill. Um, it, and <laughs> might you know it. I mean, it doesn't matter if it doesn't create more work to to do it all, but yeah. So I would take I would take out the two SUFA signs. I mean, what are SUFA signs? They're these kind of electronic signs. They're they're um, uh, that you find um, on Main Street. Um, good, they're they're good portable. They, okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I mean, I, yeah, it was on the the mayor's list. I would never have thought to add this. Um, okay, well, it, we like Andra said, we, we can put the message yeah. on the SUFA signs, but we right. don't have to include it in this. Right. And when I when I included it in this, I, I have to say, I, I thought, how do I go about this? <laughs> how do I actually make this happen? And can yeah, you we, put anything on the SUFA sign? I don't yeah, know, we have so. SUFA signs too, um, but I didn't include that. Yeah. yeah um, so you could take out via local signage as well. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Um, okay. And then you're saying uh, get rid of MMA. I mean, like you said, we could always just do it. Mm -hmm. 
just not included on this list. Tom, you have a question. I'm sorry, I didn't see your hand. No problem. Um, I mean, basically, I'm I'm not opposed to anything anybody's saying. Like, it, is it too big? That I think the goal here is to get a document that's going to get approved. So, to the extent that these things are, as Chris was saying, like, you know, part of standard operating procedure and not something extra. Um, and it strengthens our outreach, even if it's beyond our three communities. I, I don't know, Paul Gromer might be able to tell us better, that, but it seems like it's good to have a bigger list than a smaller list, knowing <laughs> that the bigger the list is, the more we're obligating ourselves to, as you said at the beginning of this. So I'm okay with cutting it down. And uh, in the context of... Um, knowing that it's not going to hurt our chances of getting approved and we're cutting something down that we're actually going to do our, anyway. Yeah, I guess my take is that, you know, we can include these agencies, like if any municipality, I mean, for whatever reason, Amherst might want to reach out to the MMA. Our town manager was the former executive director. So, you know, there's kind of a relationship there with them. So, you know, he may still want to and not that it matters but you know he might still want to at least let alert people that we're doing this maybe it's not specifically to do the outreach about getting people to sign on but just to alert people that we're doing I, this i don't i think you should copy this whole list and save it somewhere as the exhaustive list and then leave on who you know and anyone all of them half of them it doesn't really matter because we can always do more. Yeah, I'm going to save. Yeah, I'm going to save. I'm making edits now, but I'm going to save this as a separate document so that we'll have the one, the version that has everything. So we'll have the list that has everything. So oh, we've got. Good. We'll have both. And so, uh, up above in the under the radio, you have WHMP listed twice. A small matter, but you know, <laughs> easy to delete one. Yeah. Do you, so I want to go back to MMA. Am I deleting that now? Yeah. Delete it. Okay. Oh, why did it, hmm, it didn't track. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, because you, um, you added it. Oh. Yeah. So you're not changing someone else's document. All right. Well, I'm saving, I've got the other, I've got this for the original version of this one. So I'll just save it as version five. Um, Anything else here? Um, any PR? Mass Live? Like, do we need those? Oh, those, those are all public. I mean, those are all news Definitely. agencies that serve. Okay. Um, well, we've got any PR up above, right? Yeah, we yeah we so, have it as a news agency, a web news agency, but then we've got it as radio stations. Will because they have a web presence, obviously, and I mean, as do all, all of them, really. Uh, yeah. Can I assume that um, Paul's team is going to actually do the final edits on this? I sure hope so. <laughs> well, they're not going to edit. I mean, yeah, if something's repeat, yeah, they will. They're they're going to clean this up, but they're no, not going to exactly. edit I'm, I'm which about, contacts. But in terms no, of I'm, the formatting, I'm sure they'll clean it up. Yeah, and and also, you know, something being repeated twice. Yeah. Well, I just got rid of one, so. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, so what I'm not seeing here is the list serves. Um, are they somewhere else? Yep. Or you haven't gotten you... all the way down yet. You have farther to go down. Okay, all right. Yeah, this is I'll just be... this. Yeah, there's like I'll there's two two or three places where we had to put contacts in. Some of it's repetitive and some of it's not. So I'm just going to the top. I just want to go to the top here to make sure if there's anything else that folks think they want to take out. So. I think we're good with, what's the reminder? What's, who's, is that, that Northampton? Would, that, would, that would have been you. Oh, then I have no, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> it's a I have free no paper. Clue. It's a free paper that, I okay. don't know how they I think it. you're saying, remind me of what the reminder is. Exactly. Who is, who puts that out? Do you know, Andra? I don't even know. Um, okay, I didn't. Well, yeah, uh, Brianna does. She's our communications director, so she knows all of this. The commercial thing, I don't know. Okay, well, I'll obviously leave it in then. 
Um, okay, social media, I think we're good with. Um, local news agencies, radio stations. These freelance reporters, yes, I guess. I mean, they seem so specific. I'm just wondering, like, it's very. You could, you could take them out if you want. I mean, they'll, they'll, they will be included on the mayor's outreach if we ever do it, but I'm fine if you take it out. Okay. Well, I, mean, just... I don't think it'll hurt us whatsoever to take. Yeah. Them. I'm just and thinking, it... let's take these out, but we have them on, a, we have another list that has everything. So. Yeah. It appears Dennis Hackett works at the reminder. So maybe he can tell oh. us. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, you had it too. I suspect Tom that Dennis Hackett is the reminder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see, news agencies. Okay, so so moving down now, this is more uh, um, partnering agencies that we have contact with and work with. So um, I'd like to make sure we're not missing anybody on this list. Um, I, it, I or don't if think we think there are ones we should there. take off. I don't think Sorry, I put. Any, I don't think I put anything in here. And the only thing I would say is that I, you know, I think that it may it may be worth adding the Town Pelham Energy Committee and Board of Selectmen to this. I don't know if this is the right place, but it seems like it is. I I really don't think so. This is partners. Any that's municipal fine. Fine. entity? We, yeah, that's fine. Um, I, I added climate uh, growth in Northampton, but I think that that could be deleted. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. we may reach out to them anyway, but it's certainly not a big deal. You could say the same for many of these things. I thought growth through Northampton was, yeah, you're right. It, it doesn't seem like it's, it, it would be an important one to reach out to. I'd hate to have them drop off. Well, I think we would reach out to them anyway, but um, yeah. but if you want to leave it on the list, sure. Uh, that's, yeah, I have no problem with that. Uh, um, I mean, we're not saying that we will send press releases out to these guys. These are just who we're going to reach out to when we want to basically get the word out on stuff. What about Valley Time Trade? What is that? Does that still exist? I don't know what it is. It was an organization where people could barter a trade time, you know, like I'll I'll break your garden if you'll sow my, you know, do my mending or whatever. So, so is that really a group we want to keep on here though as like a a have to? I don't think so and I'm not even sure that they still exist. Okay. I want to but take who, them who, off, who, but we who can Who put it up? Who put it on? I don't know. It's green, so it seems like it was me, but I don't, I don't, I don't remember that. I don't know who they are either. That okay. might have just come. You know, you got it from the mayor's office. Like some of the things that I have, I don't no, even know. No, this all, all this stuff right here. Um, I mean, Northampton Area Chamber of Commerce. I just added, but the Northampton Neighborhood Associations, those were all from our Heat Smart and Solarize outreach. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, there's at the current moment, there is no ward for Northampton listserv. Yeah, so there may be some of these, you know, I haven't kept track of all of them. Are they still up to date? So, yeah, well, you know, I'm in ward four and there is no listserv, which is but if, very if there is no listserv, is that going to is that going to hurt us if, you know, we reach out and say, like, oh, they're no longer here? You know, is I, gonna, I don't know the is answer to that. Slap our I, wrist for that? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's just a matter, like, again, it's just a matter of this is the minimum outreach we're going to do so that they can see we've thought about it and that we have a sufficient pathway of getting the word out. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I you think can... this I'm is sorry. probably fine well, if they're not, if they don't exist actually, anymore. You know, we don't have all of the Amherst um, district, this, you know, association listservs here. Why don't we just say Neighborhood, neighborhood associations. Yeah, yeah that's what I did. For example, so. neighborhood associations, and then it said for you know, e.g., for example. Can so I get rid of all of this extra though, Chris? And yeah, just leave, want to. And maybe and even get rid of Northampton and just have neighborhood associations. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you still might want to just include it, e.g., 
it, you know. No, it's too much. No, okay. If they if they know what it is, that's fine. Okay. Um, so, um, go ahead, Adele. I'm I'm trying to find the Northampton neighbors on here, and I don't see it listed, but um, it should be for sure because they have a very active listserv. Okay, is that a, is that the is that, is that different? fall under neighborhood associations? It's not a neighborhood association. It's all of Northampton. Anybody can join it who's I think over the age of fifty, but um, it's very active. And I would definitely want to reach out to them. Okay. All right. And it's called Northampton Neighbors? Yeah. We have okay. something like that too. It's for, you know, it's, ba it's basically to help us older people remain in their homes by, yeah. by having uh, resources to reach out to. Right. So it's different than next door neighbor and neighbor to neighbor, right? Yes, very different. Okay. Um, what about two degrees? What is that? It's a um, it's a Northampton uh, climate organization. Obviously, we will keep them. Are they active though? Is that an active? Oh group? yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. The Northampton Community Resilience Hub. I mean, I, there's there isn't really a physical resilience hub yet. There certainly is a a big group at a meeting. Um, so maybe we take that out because we don't. If it's people meeting, you want to reach them. All right. So, <clears throat> in or out. The thing is, it's it's not a. I mean, a resilience hub generally refers to a building, but they <laughs> has to have something physical, and it's not there yet. Um, Do they have a listserv? No, as far as I know, it is just a loose collection of emails that all these people are included in. Um, and I actually grabbed a lot of them. A lot of them, um, I went to one of the one of the emails that had a big long list and I went through and I called out the organizations and put them in here. So they're really, the organizations are really covered. I think we are not needing this level of detail um, in, in our discussion. I mean, there's, there's a lot of other organizations that we will remember come up with Let's just leave it Again, we just need our minimum. We don't yeah. need to be, it doesn't have to be exhaustive. It just needs and, to be a minimum. And so these are actually just exemplars. So, so, I, right. so, so you might want to remove that one since yeah. it doesn't officially exist anyway. Yeah, if it doesn't exist, <laughs> then I'm going to get rid of it. Um, community action, value community development. Okay. Is there anything? that comes to your mind that you don't see that you think we should include? What is Highland Valley Elder Services? Is that different from uh, the other, uh, the high, oh wait, I see. It shows just up twice. twice. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of it. It's So it, both Northampton and Amherst put that in there. Okay. So my understanding is it's just another area organization that assists elders, but I don't know much about it. But it sounds like it's a valley effort, not just specific to one or the other community. And um, why would we include the Center for New Americans? Um, do they have a listserv? Um, Center for New Americans, they, they provide uh, services to um, uh, individuals with English as a second language, yeah. immigrants. So I would, it's but, definitely an audience that they want us to reach out to. Okay, yeah, great. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, well, I'm they, just thinking that they might not all be from Amherst, Pelham, or Northampton. Uh, I, I'm assuming that, that they draw from a much larger area, but that's okay. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll well, withdraw my concern. The Center for New Americans is, is located in Northampton. 
And we can we can always ask them to at least provide information for members of those three communities, because this is something that could basically save them, you know, money and energy, and we want to encourage them to be involved. So, um, are there any organizations that you think, again, are missing that actually do reach a very specific population that we don't have listed? NAACP Amherst. the colleges universities university um i guess we could try to reach students um the five area colleges or well i guess that includes the four area colleges <laughs> you can say local colleges and universities Are we reaching out to the universities themselves or are we reaching out to their students? I would think we are providing information to the universities to distribute to their students. I don't think there's going to be a pathway for us to di directly outreach to students unless we go through student organizations. Like, you know, there's certainly climate groups within the universities and we could try to reach them that way. But we probably reach more if we Can go we through this them. normal. I'm just concerned if we're adding things to this document that would become requirements. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I agree. And, and um, I think we will probably try to send um, information to, to selected groups of students, but I don't think we should add that to this list. Okay. I want to get that out then. Wait. That didn't say students. Those to the university and the colleges. I know. I thought you said take it off the the list no, because it's something we could do, but it's not something we want to identify as doing here. Yeah, I think I think Adele just said, and that, that correct me if wrong. We'll probably will reach out to students, but we don't have to list it. We don't have to list colleges and universities. Yeah, so we'll do it. We just don't have to have it on here. Okay. I'm adding that to the list, though. Sorry, I'm making notes here. Um. Anything else that seems to be missing? I'm all set. I'm good. Tom, you good? Yep. Del, Andra, anything else? No? Okay. All right. So I'll all I think that I was added was the um, Amherst double NAACP. Um, I think that was I think that was all I added. So just to make sure we have one exhaustive list. So you you added Northampton neighbors as well. Okay. Thank you. All right, then moving on. So as we got down farther, and it seemed to be kind of duplicating, I stopped putting stuff in um, and made the suggestion that if things are gonna be duplicated, should we just put it like an appendix? So the problem is though, that I think they wanna know specifically what we're doing for specific pieces of this. So the first part, that's that bigger list, was just about outreach for the aggregation. And then this is just, I think about press releases, which isn't, it's some of the same, but not all of the same. 
And I don't know why they want us to sort of drill down and be more specific, but. Do they want us to be more specific here? Or they just want us, it's just repetitive. It is, but they, but that was pointed out to us when we had the meeting. Um, I think, uh, was it Marlene, Marlena, Marlene, Marlena, I forget her, her name, um, that works <laughs> with Paul had said that it's repetitive. She said, you will have a lot of the same information here. Hmm. Well, so, so I haven't moved stuff down. Um, uh, and I don't think Tom has either. <laughs> so I guess. No, I didn't do it either. I, I, th I stopped at the first section. But okay. It, yeah. Because it looks like we could just copy and paste from above down here. Because, you know, the press releases announcements, we're going to, it's the same list, I would think. Um, pretty much. So I'm leaving tomorrow and I'll be gone through the 15th. So if you two would um, kindly take a look at this and add those things in, I'd greatly appreciate it. Sure. And just add the ones that you had from above that you didn't put down here, just copy them, stick them down here. That would be great. Let me know when you're done, Tom, so we're not working separately. If you can go first, I'll take the second stab. Sounds good. I'll do Is that it. Okay. Today. Okay. I'll do great. It yeah. Um, Chris, do you how when do you think you would be able to to do that? Would you be able to do it today? I'm just thinking then I can send it off with a message to Paul's team that like, you know, here it is so that we can maybe schedule a meeting with them for when I return. All right, Tom, can you, are you gonna to get to it today? I will. And uh, so <laughs> I think Stephanie, I, I, we do we wanna add it to a, which version do, should I start with? I guess is my question. The prior one or what we've done here? Um, start with this one. Yeah, probably this one. So I'll, I'm gonna, I'll save this as version five. Right now, this is version four that we're looking at. Okay. I'll save it as version five and I will send you version five. Okay. I'll do it. I'll uh, try to get it. I've got a call at noon. I'll try to get it to you by two or three o'clock today. Let's say three o'clock today, Chris. But then I, I won't be able to work on it uh, at that point. So maybe I should start. Okay. Okay. And then I'll flip it back to you, uh, hopefully by three, uh, maybe earlier. But um, as soon as I get it from Chris, as soon as I get off my noon call, <laughs> okay. if I get it from you by around noon 30 or one, Chris, I'll, I should be able to get it back to uh, Stephanie. I don't know when you're planning on working on it. Yeah, I'm going to, this will be one of the last things today, probably that I'll send out to Paul Gromer's team and sort of ask them when they want to you know, we can we can schedule a meeting at the end of this one, um, and then we can talk about that as a next step. Good. So I just want to finish this piece. So okay, so you two are going to add your stuff here, and is that true for these other sections too? Yes. Yeah, it has to be. Okay. All right. Okay, then I think. Once you get that back, um, I, I guess I want to just ask Adele and Andra and just make sure that they're good with the list of what they've seen so far in terms of outreach. And if there's anything else, like I'm looking at the faith-based organizations here, did not they did not did not appear above. So do we have? Are we good there? This is for. Um, uh outreach to um community organizations and this is about the program launch and program details so it's a press release basically that we're sending out to all of these folks and so faith-based organizations were included to get the word out because a lot of community members obviously are part of these can we not list them there's way too many it'd be very easy to leave 
Oh. Yeah, would they be okay with us just saying sent to faith-based organizations? Um, okay, I'll take these out. I, I'm asking that question. I don't know. Well, well, what I'm saying is I'll take them out. They'll still exist in version four. I'll take them out here and then we'll have them. Or at least, Chris, maybe you, um, you can always yeah. add them in. You, I can always. You don't have any of the synagogues, I notice. So let's not have faith-based organizations because who knows what we could leave out. Yeah, I mean, it's such as. So uh, that's why yeah. I'm asking you, well, that's why I'm asking you, can we add can like. Leave them out. Well, we for the neighborhood associations, we decided just to go with this, the statement neighborhood associations and not include as such as. It makes me very uncomfortable to think of not putting in, you know, <laughs> not having certain ones in the list as. No, so. I, I hear you. I just, you know. And we can't be so exhaustive. So that, let's that, not, not list them. Well, then I want to make sure when we do that, that we're as exhaustive as we can be. If I we are going to reach be. out to them. I hope we will be, but let's not list them in okay. this document. So that bracketed phrase, list organization names, that didn't come from Mar Marlon? Nope, that came from them. That came, I was going to say that came from that them. That did come I from mean, them. It, it says it, it's from you, Stephanie, but, uh, but I think you're right. It came from them. No, it's I, the formatted, I, I deleted the list organization names and oh, then I started see. listing them. That's what came from me. Okay. List or they, anything they want, that says list is what they included. Yeah, so they want us to list something here. Yes. Right, and that was from faith-based organizations? They want us to list organization names? Yes, but it says such as, so it's not exhaustive. I mean, I, that's that's why it says such as, it's not, this is an exhaustive list. I'm sorry, so, it's just so offensive to leave out, you know. I, the, the, anybody, the, I hear people you. People we don't know, <laughs> so please. Just leave it as it is. And if they insist on us putting some example churches, that's ridiculous, but then do it. Well, we'll send it to them as is in this version. If they ask for it, we'll include them and we'll have to be, we'll have to do our best to find, you know, as many as we absolutely can. Yeah, they have a lot of these such as. -es. You could just say such as churches, synagogues, mosques. <laughs> yeah, actually, I like that. Yeah. Whoops, I spelled synagogues wrong, sorry. Sina, Sino, I always, it's an A-O thing, Sina. Anything else? Churches, synagogues, ETC. mosques, what? ETC. What's ETC? <laughs> oh. I was like, what's ETC? I don't know that or that religious group. Et cetera. Okay. I guess it says such as. So. Okay, yeah. but all right. Yeah. Um, I like that, Andrew. Thank you. And then agencies and organizations that provide support to vulnerable community members. Again, this this is how they started it. They want us to list names. Mm -hmm. So I had these three. And again, we've got some of them above. Yeah, I'll be bringing, I don't, I'll be bringing yeah. other ones back down. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I think, I think that was all we had to fill in. Sorry for the quick scrolling. Uh, this is just our website address when we get it. Oh, one more. Oh, but wait, there's more. Um, I have to do it again. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, we'll, we'll be adding our stuff. Yep. And it, it still says Valley Green Alliance in multiple places. That's what they typed in, I think. I didn't type that in, they did. 
Why is that bad? It, we are Valley Green Alliance, aren't we? No, not yet. Not yet. We will be, though. I think they that was oh. like we're going to be. That, okay. Yeah, they were writing that as if we were going to have it done by the time they submitted, I think. Yes, because that's what the objective is, is for us to be Valley Green Alliance before this goes in. Okay, so let's see. I think I'm just making sure I'm sorry for the motion sickness here. I think we're good. Oh I think God. that's it. Okay. All right. Thanks. Send it send it my way. Okay. Um, let me just save this as version five. Here I'll stop sharing so you don't have to watch this. <clears throat> okay, so so the next thing is to schedule our next meeting after so Chris and Tom will do their additions. I will send this off to um, Paul Gromer and his crew and we'll schedule our next meeting. Can we uh, can we talk about where where are the, uh, our paperwork for the Valley Green Alliance is? Is it still with the lawyers? And it's still with the lawyers. Um, I, yeah, it's been so unclear to me. It feels unclear to me. Sorry, I'm just trying to do two things at once here. Um, it feels a little unclear to me as to where uh, things stand. Like I thought Rick seemed clear, Alan seemed less so. And I think there was some confusion on Alan's part, maybe about the MOU versus the JPA document. So I think we need to just schedule a meeting with him. So I can do that as soon as we get off this call. I can send out a, a maybe a doodle poll with some dates to try to see if we can get Alan and Rick to be on the same page. So Chris and Tom, are there days and times that work better for you? I'd say just make a few suggestions to respond to. Well, just like I, I don't, you know, if you know there's like Tuesdays don't ever work, I just want to yeah. know if there's a day that doesn't work. I don't. Tom, what about you? I know you're traveling I, a lot to you. Yeah, I don't, um, unfortunately. And so I'm not even in the same time zone. <laughs> so, okay. so when I'm when I'm out west, um, an earlier start, like I'd rather get on the phone, lo my local time at six or seven in the morning, because, you know, after that, I start to have to move through the day and I have no time. So, okay. So for you, like a nine o'clock meeting is nine or maybe almost, 10. Almost always nine o'clock, almost always is preferable for me. Okay. That's good to know. That's helpful. All right. Great. All right, I will send that out right after this meeting and see if we can nail something down with them. I'm gone till the 15th. So it'll be after that. It would be, you know, either the week of the 19th or the week of the 26th, hopefully no later than that. Um, and then we would be able to have an update. So as far as the next meeting for us, I mean, at this point, we kind of are passing this off to Paul's team and they're going to be doing some work. There's not going to be a lot for us to do necessarily um, right now. So do we want to schedule the next meeting that would be with them? I, I'm, I'm up for trying. Um... The week you get back, I am going to be on the West Coast all week. So that week, the 9 a.m. East Coast start time would be best for me. Of the 19th? Yeah, the week of the 19th, yes. But it does okay. seem like... Go ahead, Chris. on our plate, getting the Valley Green Alliance up and running. You know, once, because this is, we provided Paul with the outreach and education plan. I mean, I'd ask him 
what else, you know, what would be our next step for him, between him and his team, between us and his team? And if there isn't really a next step for a while, then we should be focused on the Valley Green Alliance. Yeah, which is what we're we going to be doing when we talk. Which is what them. we're going to, right. right, right. And that's what we're going to be trying to do. Right. But I'm just trying to think, you know, is, what's, what's our reason for holding a meeting? Um, we need to talk to Rick and Alan first. And hopefully right. that'll move forward. And then we'll have a reason to meet. Well, so I, should I hold off on scheduling that meeting with Paul and team until after we talk to Rick and Alan? I'm just not sure if when, once we get the education outreach plan to Paul and team, what's, I want to hear from them what is the next step right. for us. Because if there isn't really a next step right away, then, then I think we, yeah. And Paul I and team, they, they don't care about us working with Alan and Rick. Yeah, no, that's, that's something that's separate. Yeah, yeah, separate. Yeah, Adele, go ahead. I'm sorry, you keep trying yeah. to speak. Yeah. Uh, well, the, two things. One is, um, uh, I, I, I don't think we should uh, wait on meeting with Paul at, at all. We should keep momentum going. Um, and the other thing is that we, you know, we haven't done any work on our, on our website. And I think that's a pretty high priority. At some point, we're going to have to have a website. So why don't we start working on it? Partly because Paul's team is going to build the website for us. Ah. For the yeah, they're doing that for the CCA, but are you talking about Valley Green Alliance, Adele? Because that's separate. That's Those separate. are there's two websites that we need. One is just for the CCA, but then yes. there's Valley Green Alliance, and that's the one you're talking about. Yes. Okay. I mean, part of it for me is that it doesn't exist yet. Although I know we don't have to publish it live, we just need to start building it. Um. So I am going to say right off that that is not going to be anything that I'm going to be able to do. I, I know I can't. My okay. plate is overflowing right now. Well, we'll we'll kick that can down the road again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we have shifted from an all volunteer group to someone who's hired a team. Um, and not for the Alliance, but for Valley Green Energy. Right. Well, yeah. and also, it's still unclear to me, like once because once the contract, the JPA gets signed, once it's executed, it's in effect. So that means that how we meet and all of that changes, right? It's sort of like how it even did when we signed the MOU, like suddenly we became, we had to keep minutes. And so that structure of the JPE has to go into effect when that's executed. And I don't feel like we're clear about who that's gonna be and, because don't each community has to designate their executive officials have to designate someone to represent the communities. I mean, that has to happen. So maybe what we need to do is just go over the steps about, I mean, even more than the website to me, this is more critical. <laughs> like who are the people that need to be involved? Who's gonna be at the table and what are the first things that we need to do? So I kind of would, I would personally like to get that established first. Okay. So maybe, our next meeting could be to discuss that. And then the meeting with Rick and Alan is going to maybe be like a separate staff meeting just to get them to just get on the same page and get the language together. Um, which, and I think it was really minor edits too. I mean, that's the thing that's so frustrating about this is there was like, there was really nothing left. It was just like basically agreement, but we have to make sure that they're on the same page. So let's, that meeting can happen separately. Let's have our group meet. Um, so again, I get back the week. I'll be back in the week of the 19th. Um, we could meet sometime that week or like Friday the 23rd. I'd rather do it at the end of the week personally because I'm going to be trying to catch up all week. I would say prioritize the meeting with the lawyers and fit in a meeting with us if possible. But don't give away the nine o'clock slot <laughs> to us. <laughs> okay, I hear you. I'm, all, I'm with you on that, Adele. So hey, by us, I've got to drop, I'm sorry. Okay, Tom, we'll be in touch. 
twenty third at nine o'clock, Tom, tentatively. Yes. Um, okay. uh, yes. <laughs> That's what I'll shoot for with the lawyers. But if not, it'll. I'll let you know. Oh, okay. And Chris, give me that document, and I'll get it back to you guys. Thank you very much. Okay. Ciao. Thanks, Tom. Bye. Hey, Tom. Bye. Okay. So as far as our meeting next, um, I think, I, and what I'm trying to kind of steer us towards is uh, Western Mass Green Energy Alliance. I mean, but it would be a working group for the Valley Green Energy does not have to meet until we know that we need to meet with Paul, in my opinion. So it's back to our staff working group on the Valley Green Alliance that needs to meet. Right, because I don't think we need to meet with Paul until we hear from Paul that there's a reason for us to meet with him again. I think we need to work on the alliance. Yeah, no, right, and yeah. that's what I'm okay. saying is we need to get that. That is our next priority, like because yeah. we have no, we have no real next steps, or even the people identified as who's going to be part of that, because right. that's different than this working group. Right, or it could be. I mean, it's not absolutely different, but they, it they could haven't be they haven't merged yet. And we don't have to post minutes and post agendas and stuff for the other group. Yeah, for the other group, but you know, no we're still, that. yeah, but we're not, we can't, it's like already a little confusing and crazy now. <laughs> so oh, um, to go to like a third iteration of like another group that has to be tracked and posted and all that. So no, um, no you don't. I mean, we could stop recording now. Uh, you know, you could adjourn the, uh, meeting of valley green energy working group and stop recording and we could start the meeting of the valley green alliance staff working group right. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be but it doesn't have to be recorded right but it's not going to be today i know but we did talk about but doing that we did we did and we could so we could do a separate meeting for that group let's just let's just can we start with these two things first <laughs> let's just start with the let's just start with the meeting with the lawyers i'll reach out to paul gromer to find out if there's something specific that they need to meet with us about in moving things forward and if we need to schedule a meeting with them so it's those two meetings and then i think the next meeting would be for the alliance which is not the working which is not this staff working group right and so how about if we uh if if paul not paul i'm sorry it's so, uh, alan and rick are available on the 23rd at nine we meet with them and then we continue on with the valley green alliance meeting do it at the same time yeah and because we don't have to post that one right we don't have to post it and, and, and hopefully working with rick and Alan won't take long. Yeah, and that's just a staff meeting. That's like not even an official working group meeting. That's just a staff right. meeting with right. them. So we don't have to post that one either. Right. So, okay. And then the Alliance meeting would be right after, if that's possible. Yeah, we'll just kind of keep it all the same meeting. I mean, just I the, Alliance, the Alliance group is, is meeting. And we're going to talk to the lawyers and then go on from there. I so have a suggestion. I have a suggestion to help mm. us because it's always so hard to clarify what's, uh, you know, VGE, what's VGA, um, that um, Stephanie be the lead on all of the VGE meetings because that's <laughs> what we've been doing, and that Chris be the lead on all the VGA meetings. <laughs> Because there's no money, you know, involved from, you know, any grants from legislators or whatever. Right. It's like changing the chair, the face. Hat. Yeah. Right. Because it actually, then you physically kind of feel that we're in a different group. So what's <laughs> going to happen when we become Valley Green Alliance? Who's the, who's going to be the staff support of that? Well, then, then it's a different group altogether. We're Valley Green Alliance. And we don't know yet. Yeah, we don't. We have to define the board. And... Right. I know. That's what I'm saying, though, is like, but it's some, but it we has have... to start. We have to have somebody to shepherd that through that initial right. phase. So but, uh, I'm saying that's going to likely be from this group. 
Yeah, and uh, it makes sense. I, I agree with An Andra's suggestion that we have, that we spread the spread the responsibility around and that it'd be Chris leading the BGA. It'll also reduce um, confusion. Chris, you good with that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's been wonderful. Good for me. <laughs> Stephanie, it's been wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Taking all this on. I, I, I see the I, I, I could see the benefits to it. <laughs> it is, I mean, it. it is getting like for me, it is getting a little unwieldy about wait, which group is this? So I think it, it would and, make my life a lot easier. And it and it will bring clarity. So yeah, okay. It will also um <laughs> empower you, Chris, while Stephanie's away to um, finalize the, you know, based on the doodle poll, when the next meeting will be with the, you know, lawyers and the, the group. Okay. Um, I mean, are you, are you okay, Stephanie, with us? Do you not be in here if we talk to lawyers? And no, I need to be there. That's, okay. Okay. I, that, I don't think that's what Andrew's saying. Andrew's just saying that you could schedule it, but I mean, mm -hmm. But I, but then I'm not going to be available to ensure that I'm going to be here. Is all. Well, you'll have filled out the doodle poll. It'll be based on the doodle poll. Okay. So I guess Chris, you're sending a doodle poll to you, me, and Tom, Rick, and Alan. Yep. And then we'll inform everybody else when that is. Thank you. That's great. Yeah. And those meetings don't have to be posted, but these do. Yeah. At least until it gets signed. As soon as it's, as soon as it's executed, then you're going to have to start posting them, the meetings. Yeah, but we don't know who that's going to be. That's what we're meeting for. We right. have to define that. Yeah. Right. right. Great. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. Well, <clears throat> I guess we're signing off. Yes. Um, all right. So rain. we don't. So we don't have another meeting then of this group until further notice. Tentatively on twenty uh, third at nine o'clock, nine a.m. I mean, well, that's. Well, we'll see what the do. That's not this group. That's going to be. That's oh, going to be the staff. Ah, I just this, did it. See, this sorry. is what I mean, right? <laughs> it gets really. Makes your head spin. That's right. But because that's now what the I'm lawyers. Gonna... Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's going to be just staff. That's not a public meeting. That's just right. a staff meeting. Right. Right. Now for 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 this group, the Valley Green Energy Group. It's just until you, you will be, further you will notice. Be, you would be passing on the um, education plan to Paul and team. Correct. And so for me, you. that's going to be the liaison with paul's group and what we need to do i'll yeah, be scheduling those meetings with paul and his group you're going to be focused just on the alliance the creation yeah. of the alliance does that help yeah this, this there we go just gotta get used to it yes 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 so you're just on the you're just on the joint powers entity i'm working on the cca specifically right that's the clarification okay got it great Alrighty. good <laughs> thanks for that suggestion andra thank you all <laughs> i okay. will talk to you when i get back Bye. All right.